Welcome back to my Wolfer campaign. We're now getting ready to attack over here another Kislevite army. Now I did pass a few turns when I knew that all I had to do was move around. So we're getting ready for a few new battles. I went ahead and recruited Berserkers over here from the Longship Graveyard. I brought them over to Wolfric and now he has four Berserker groups. I mean that's really meant for a quest battle but now I've got to move a unit over to Kron. And I've got to go over to Zolishing for my monster hunt. I would like to get my monster hunts completed. Okay, Walker, come on down. I'm not going to name any agents until one episode has passed. I want to find out if they will live or not. I don't want to give a backstory and then go, oh, hey, your character died. Sorry. I mean, if they die later, okay, but not in the very beginning. That wouldn't be fun. Uh oh, that agent might get me, though. I've got to be careful. What level are you? Five. A decent level. I did recruit Torvald. And he's got uncompromising to where it'll be a little bit more difficult to wound him. I've got a good friend of mine going away for about three weeks now. And so I'm going to be doing his last D&D game until he gets back. That guy does love his D&D. Okay. Let's get ready now. I would like to have a buff or two. Right of the Wanderer. Only five turns, but a 20 turn cooldown. Hmm. Not my favorite. That's okay, though. We'll be there one more turn. Hopefully, we can attack and destroy Grigory before he's able to fully rebuild. Undefeated. That would be fantastic. Okay. I'm going to end my turn now. Oh, to let you know, it was really cool of him to do this, but the mod maker behind the orc modification Wii special, he let me know on Discord that he's going to be updating his modification and it might break save. So if you have that modification, make sure that you back it up. Unfortunately, CA changed up where the mods are downloaded, so you'll have to look up where they're at now. But beyond that, that was really cool of him. If only Steam would let us turn off the option to update our games and modifications. I mean, there are so many campaigns I could have saved if I could have done that, or if I didn't have to use Steam for Warhammer 2. I would download these modifications and I would have complete control over my game. I used to do that whenever I would find mods. I would not tweak anything at all. They would just work and I could complete my campaigns and not have to worry. It's kind of nice to be able to come back after like a few weeks or a month and then go, oh, hey, my game still works, but now I can't do it thanks to Steam. I can't be like, hey, mod makers, don't update your mods. No, that's ridiculous. So I've got to be the one to back things up. Okay. Which I'm going to be much better about doing. Like right after this here, I'm going to go back it up. I'm going to upgrade that. Longship Graveyard, where are you? You're over here, so you're going to need that watchtower. Very good. By Sigma, no. Okay. What am I going to give you now? We at we. A few more javelins. I don't want you to have Marauder Hunters. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. They do have Armor Piercing. But I like your range a little bit more, even though, actually, that damage is pretty intense, man. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Yeah, let's come over here. I'll grab one of them. Money's really going down. Oh, he did leave the Tower of Croc. What a shame. Like, you're liberated. I kind of want to, actually. You know what? I want a little friend who can take over lands. Yeah. I don't have any real purpose for it. I could complete that province, but... Well, hold up. Let me go look over here. We do have a military alliance, but... Bear Sunlings are over here. The Van Heimlings are over there. I kind of just want you to belong to me directly, though, as a vassal. Yeah. I don't need your help. There we go. <laughs> now that has changed things up into a way that uh, I prefer to have them. Okay, I don't want to move all the way yet. I'm going to move, like, right over here. We'll fix it for next turn. I don't want to move in. and Well, let's go. Here we go. Zoshink. Just as you start to think that you're losing to Frostworm's trail, the extreme weather around the Tower of Croc mysteriously dies down. News then reaches you that the bad weather has now suddenly appeared in the region of Zolshink and Kislevite lands to the south. This could be no coincidence. You must make your way into Old Troll Country. I need money to just teleport there. I might want to do that. I don't want to, like, fight there and be attacked, but that would be great to have. Yeah. We'll take on Kislev. I think there's a modification where I could just, like, recruit him and just have him fight for me directly. That would be pretty cool. I wonder if it works after the fact. I don't know, actually. I like all the laughter. <laughs> ha 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 ha. 
Okay, well, I don't really care for you. I'm just gonna tax you a lot and cause issues. Unless I want these guys to go after Volksgrad. I mean, they're holding on to lands I don't want. I want them to go after, like, Crooked Truck. I can't take these locations. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. I've got a little bit of money, don't I? Yeah, I do. A little bit. I'm gonna pick up... Well, I might as well pick up what would cost me a bit more. We'll take two groups of champions. I feel like that's gonna be a nice balanced out group. I'll take, like, one more group of marauders. We're gonna have a lot of shields. We've got spears, too. Okay, I've got to get them to do their thing now. And corrupt and steal technology to enhance my own technology. That is so freaking great whenever I'm able to do that. I can get so much more done. I can research things quickly, which is the goal. Oh, I might be rebuilding my Everwatcher campaign. Yeah. I didn't get that far ahead in it. And I don't have to really build lands. I just kind of have to go kill things. And I'm pretty okay at that. I can do a pretty good job at killing things. Now, the Everwatcher campaign was just so much fun. That got ridiculous, man. That was so much fun for me. I wonder if I still have my notes, so I don't know where I left off at when it came to the lore talks where I would continue. If not, we'll just have fun playing it and enjoying it and talking about what we're doing. A trade agreement. Yeah, hey, look at that. He likes me. He's not that mad at me. Aren't you, buddy? Oh, pardon. I didn't know we were being stupid today. Okay. I've got a little army who's going to come get you. If you burn down that location, I'm going to be PO'd. I'm going to come over there and slap you with your own arms. My weirdkin's looking a little bit startled. There's a little bit too much red going on there. Garmir Bernhardsen. Hi, hi. But we shall see, my friends. And the goal is to really one day just kind of turn into a Warhammer channel to a war involved as well. But I love Warhammer games. I love the content. I love the storylines. I love tabletop. I just want to do tabletop, Warhammer, all that. Should be fun. Okay. What do we have over here? We've got Air Boys. All right. So if we have Air Boys to fight, we got to do a thing where we let my Marauders take the biggest blow. All right. They've got Biggins. What's over here? They've got more biggins. I mean, those guys are going to be pretty nasty. So we're going to bring in some ranged units on each side. We're going to have spears on each side as well. Do we have trolls to deal with? I believe we do. we got, like, some manner of troll. No, we've got the Saigor. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, we do have trolls. Okay, so I do want two spears on my right flank then. We want two groups of spears to help out there. My Vermeer warriors can help out in the middle. Just beat the crap out of everyone. And then I've got some... Units to kind of help reinforce where I need them to. Alright, well, who's over here? Some hounds, okay. Then we've got my leader, my werekin. He's going to be in the middle. And then we're going to begin. And we got to go fast because we've got a Saigor to fight. Let's move in right now. Yeah, Venris and his team did a great job on balancing out the Norskins. I mean, it's a very good filling campaign. It's been a big challenge for me, so it's been a lot of fun. That side gore is going to be a pain. Okay, so here's what we do. We go over here. We bring in two spears. Come over here. We get my range units to go attack. We're not going to brace at all. Might get you to go keep the side gore busy. I'm not too sure yet. All right. We got some black orcs. No wonder they're going to be such a challenge for me. Marauder hunters come over here and attack. I want the Femir warriors to move in. I want the other Femir warriors to also move in. Right over here. And marauders, I want you to charge in as well. Go in. Great weapons come over here. I want the bigger boys to come on down. Oh, yeah. They're being hit really hard. That's going to be unfortunate. That's okay, though. I forgive them. Okay, Hunters. You keep on doing your thing for now. What about you? What are you doing? You're not doing your thing at all. We'll go after the trolls, then. Maybe that'll do a fun thing. I don't know. Come over here and try to keep that Saigor busy. I don't want to deal with that. Oof. Killing too many of my boys. It's rude. Okay, come over here and fight. You two, go fight. I don't want you to fight their leader, though. I feel like you're not going to beat their leader. I feel like that's not going to be a possibility with what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. So that's what we're doing today? You're going to kill my poor little dogs? My wee baby doggies? Freaking rude, man. Freaking rude. All right, whatever. Go over here and fight. Man, that one side war alone is, like, trashing my elites. It's really awful. I'm going to come over here into their ranks then. 
It's going to kind of keep him busy. 102 kills already at a time when I can't lose that many. All right, let's come over here and go bother a few of their elite units. Let's hope that we're winning at least a little bit. No, we're not winning. We're definitely losing, I can tell you that. Berserkers, try your best, but that Zygor alone is trashing me, so we're going to lose this location. Hopefully they take it and don't just break it. That would be nice. I would very much like that if they didn't just break it. All right, come over here real quick. The amount of power was not in my favor, but now we know why. Oh, wow. Black Orcs are no joke. I haven't fought the Orcs in so long. They usually get destroyed by the time I get to them, so I never get to fight them. And a Werken alone can't take on a bunch of Savage Air Boys. I mean, Savage Air Boys are meant to be pretty decent in melee. So you forget that they can actually hold their own for a little while. Tamir Warriors are not doing anything. Despite their strength, they're not doing a jack all. Oh yeah, we're not going to be here for much longer. We could try. We could certainly try. Okay, Marauder Hunters, I want to move you over here. Go after a few other things if you want to. I'd love for you to actually come up and go attack the Blasted Saigor. That'd be even better. For all the kills it's gotten. It angers me immensely. Okay. We're at 30 kills. Or what? 30 left. Black Orcs have won. They've killed 130. Berserkers are behind them. They're not going to do a lot. The Spears are over here chasing after some trolls who are chasing after me. Come over here too. Catch them in a wedge. We can at least weaken them and then I'll have army number two go after them. My Famir Warlord will go take them on. All right, it's pretty much done now. We're pretty much done here. Yeah, that's why I need a lot of throwing weapons. I could at least get a lot of that done. I could do a lot of throwing, get a lot of damage in before they can stop me. That's where it feels like I do most of my damage too, is just by my throwing weapons, just throwing at them. But I couldn't beat these orcs in a melee fight. Wow. So they managed to beat me. They'll either burn it down or take it for their own purposes. And we'll see. I lost over 1,000 of that one. Yeah, those big ones are no joke. I mean, they just had a bunch of really beefy units. The Saigor, though, that was a savage one. I couldn't even get into the fight without that, killing nearly 200 of my soldiers. So we're going to have army number two really begin to build up. Yeah, if I had more throwing weapons, I feel like I could have done something there. I needed something to counter the Saigor for a period of time, though. Like a Manticore. Betraying me like that. All right, Bone Clubbers, I let you live for a period of time. Now I know. I guess the Rogue Armors are now hostile. Now they're like, hey, we're going to take what we believe is ours. Close defeat. Oh, they did burn it down. Okay. All right. I cannot recruit a much higher leveled Lord. I kind of like that idea. Look at these over here. Level 8. That is really good. Frostbitten. The Foul Stink one is really good. Resilient. But the only ones who have anything good are kind of... Poison attacks would be nice as well. Level 8. Here we go. That's more armor if I want it. I'm going to take more replenishment for one. Ancient Cunning for more movement. Holy crap. Plus 8%, really. That's incredible. Upkeep goes down. Replenishment rate goes down. Oh, rank 20. Spawn of Chaos. Oh, okay. That's still really crazy. Alright, I gave you all that, man. I have a feeling you're going to be pretty good now. <laughs> I'm going to give you some stuff over here, too. I just wanted to make sure that you could lead your army. Now they can heal up quickly. Okay, so after doing that, we need to probably pick up some ranged attacking units. I gotta hurry up, though, and get up there and go fight. So let's go do that. Yeah, you're gonna be able to do some damage. Can either of these locations hold out? Probably not. Doomkeep, maybe. I've got a Manticore, the Nagofari plant. I do not have one. I've got, let's see, champions, and that's really the big one. I don't have anything else, so hero-wise, I, I can pick up. Just sorcerers all over. Okay, Torval, let's get you to go do some business now. Oh, you can't do it there? Okay, we'll try to do it over here. Nope, not there either. All right. Let's try to move you somewhere where maybe you can do something. Like over in Norden. Walker to Slasher. You're level two. I guess I'll bring you over here to go bother their army. My other agent's currently wounded. And 
Gregory moved away. Okay. Well, I'm coming over to Zoshink to get an easy win where I can make a decent amount of money. I don't actually need that money as much anymore, though. Not right now. I can always use more money, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather just weaken Kislev. Okay, that's one of my savages over here. We'll take that. Oh, hold on. Trophy collection. Let's come over here, too. Caked in blood. Oh, I can make my mammoth cheaper. Okay. And then more melee attack when attacking. Is that for my whole army or just for him? Income from raiding goes up. More physical resistance. Okay. So now they've got a physical resistance of 3%. That's going to go up. They're going to be able to take a little bit more damage. How cool is that? All right, we'll get rid of some of our bigger loss. I'm just trying to really focus on these guys right now. They want to come down and fight me. Let them do that. Too late, can't raid. Zoshink is not burned down, though. Mountains of Hell. Let's see. If I take that, things are a little bit better off. But what do I want? Famir Warrior? No, I do not want that right now. There's a certain building that I want to pick up. Let me see. That isn't it. Mammoth over here. I mean, we're at tier four, so let's find a really cool one. I guess we do. Ooh, yeah, that would be great. Only new ever chosen. Oh, I can't get chosen unless I do that. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Pretty cool to have that type of cap. All right, let's come over here. Grab that building. Grab that building because I have the money. I'm going to grab a temporary lord real quick because we need one. Rather have... Oh yeah, let's, we'll grab Throg. Throg is just Throg, man. If Throg was in that battle, he wouldn't have cared. He would have been Throgging about. Okay, Sarles, I know you're not doing too much. I don't even have an army yet. I'm gonna go take out Fort Strogov soon. I'm gonna heal up a little bit, go take out Fort Strogov, and then I've gotta go do the quest battle. Get a very powerful item. Add it to my repertoire. So we've got some interesting things to do. So Arthoriel is going to be interesting to play again. That's going to be a fascinating endeavor. So we're going to see how all of that works out for everyone here. And here comes my enemy again. Oh, they want to play. They want to dance a little bit. Again, they have quite a veterancy program going on to where they're able to just Crap out veterans. The Battle of Zoshink. We've got Gregory Bababin. Babinin? Babinin. That's what it is. I knew what it was all along. <laughs> oh man, one day I can't wait to build a new computer. I've got like this problem where if I have a USB plugged in, it's like it flickers in power. Like there's all sorts of old problems I've had on this freaking rig and it served me well and I'm very happy about it, but it'd be nice to have the money one day to do that. Because, oh, that was really annoying. It popped up like right in the middle of the recording. I was like, okay, well, I got to get rid of that. I can just have that pop in. That wouldn't be cool. <laughs> all right, so you guys are going to go over here. I have two of you on the left flank. Two of you over here, Manticore in the rear, Wolfric in the front lines, and we are good. We have a pretty decent formation that can just move in and cause some issues to everyone. I'm going to grab these. Oh, yeah, look at them. There's a lot of them. Okay, so we're going to grab you, you over here, and you over here. I'm going to have Wolfric charge ahead and go after these Outriders right now. We're going to go after, let me see, there's some Empire Knights. Yeah, those are nasty. There's some more Empire Knights. We do have Armor Piercing. He's going to go attack them. So that's really, really good. Let's go get some spears up to go attack these knights as well. If I take out the knights, I don't really worry about much else. I don't have to worry about much else at that point. So you'll come over here. Trolls, I want you to move in after whatever you can get to, really. It's just really about what you can get to. Yeah, go attack these guys. I want you to go after their friends nearby. Berserkers, I want you to charge in. Wolfric, you're going to go do whatever a Wolfric does, which is probably kill a lot, a lot of people. So we're going to do that. Manicore, come over here. Let's go get some mortars. Mortars are annoying. They make me very, very mad. Okay, so you're going to wait there for a minute as we all get everyone in. Everyone's going in. 
Killing some of these guys right now. Let's go get them. We'll kill some more people over here. We'll go get them too. Yeah, my hairy cousins were not meant to take a full charge, but they did, so they're going to deal with that for now. Okay, so we've got some more enemies that are bothering me. Let me go look at where they're all grouped up. I guess, like, right here would be a fine place to start. Okay, let's go get them. I'm going to come bother me real quick. I'm going to get a ship on your face. And um, I'm going to ship all over your face. There we go. And done. Okay, we killed everyone 100 now. So we're a little bit tougher than we were before. All right, let's come over here now and go take out some more enemies. Let's go look at where we're fighting. We've got to come over here real quick. You'll come over here. Great weapons, you'll come over here and help out with the Manticore stuff. We're still fighting the Empire Knights. Harry Cousins, if you don't live through the fight, then you don't belong in my army. That's just the way that things are today. Come over here now. Let's go fight. We'll come back later and go take care of a few other enemies. You two will come over here and go after the Outriders. I want my Berserkers to move in and then charge after whatever is close by. Great weapons. I want you to move up too. Go finish off some other enemies. Like over here. We're already breaking them. It's just a matter about getting into the fight now to finish off what is left. And I want these other hunters to keep on attacking. We may take some damage. Wolfric is such a freaking juggernaut now. He's going to just destroy everything. I'm not going to zoom in right now. I usually zoom in a little bit more than I have been. But I'm trying to focus on a battle where they have a lot of ranged soldiers. So I don't want to end up losing too many because I'm so busy zooming in and looking at a pretty fight. As much as I enjoy looking at a pretty fight, I've got to lose too much of my army. So I can heal up and be ready for other fights. Okay, so you're going to come over here. The other group's going to come over here and fight. We've got a Mammoth and Wolfric fighting together. So that's really going well. He's already killed 180. He's Wolfric. What do you expect? I think a bunch of poor soldiers are going to kill him? No, it's not going to happen. That's not how that works out. Come over here real quick. He'll finish off what's over here. We've got some great warriors over there fighting. Yeah, he's at 196 now. He's killed a lot of enemies. We've got some Empire Knights who are left who are attacking. We'll try to hit them too. They might break me. Who freaking knows, man? Alright, come over here real quick. I know a few of you have lost control. Can relate. <laughs> come over here, crossbow men. Go finish off a few more knights. Came out into the field to attack me, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. There's another ship to just destroy everyone. Go through the outriders, please. Thank you. Marauders, come over here. Finish off the mortar team. Great weapons. You're finishing off the militia company. We've got over here their general. He's killed 35 of my men. We've got a few more Empire Knights left. I've got a few more of you to move up. And we've destroyed that other group of ranged units. Go through these outriders. Thank you so much. All right, let's come over. So the battle's over now. We've already won. Eventually, I'll have like the fully up. Uh, the recruitment trees, I will say, are a little bit weird. I don't actually like when core units are hidden behind the smithy. I think the recruitment lines for buildings are a little bit too strange. You can upgrade. Anyway, that's just me. But I guess if I do have to have a block, might as well just be one block for most of them. I'd rather have like an army cap limit than having to deal with the building crap because that just kind of makes my building same same. And I don't know. There's just a few things I don't enjoy about it. Let's see. Which is fair. I mean, we can't like everything. We can voice our criticisms on what we do not like. I love Norsekin Hunters. They're actually one of my favorite units to use. Just enjoy them. Alright, so we got this guy over here. Let's go get him. We're bringing the Mammoth or the Trolls. I mean, I'm sure they'll easily take care of it. Wolfric's already killed every 300 now. There's not a lot left going on for them. I'll go take care of that group. Don't worry about it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get the War Mammoth, War Biscuit back in. I don't want you attacking out right now, so don't do it. Please wound him for a little while. I need all of you to come back and uh, do not group in. Just, yeah, 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 do that. Wound this dude. Or we could severely injure him. That way he's not, they don't have a fully rested up leader for the next battle. That's like the other tactic too, or strategy, is that. You can just kind of leave them severely wounded, even though they're at a higher level. At least they're severely wounded, and next battle you won't have such a hard time, unless they're in their lands, and then they can replenish, of, of course. But they still won't be at full health if you pursue them even further. So Wolfric is now killed. In that battle, he killed so many of them. 305. Out of the 1,200 they lost, I mean, wow. We hit them at multiple points. They had a lot of range units, as they have been having for quite some time. I take high losses, but I end up winning. 
again, partially due to Wolfric, I don't think these battles would have been as easy otherwise. They have such a high melee defense, they can just avoid a lot of my attacks. Plus, I've got another penalty for my armor. It's weird events that keep popping up. Yeah, I'll take the money. I might finish them off and then move back home for a minute or two or into friendly land. Gotta have a friendly camp nearby somewhere. Oh, we took their dragon helm. Okay, so that'll give me more armor and fire resistance too. Not by a lot, but by enough, I think. A minute rebellion. To yeah, well. I don't care that much. Okay, we got four points. World walkers over here. Ambush chance goes up. I'm not really dealing with those guys, so I'll probably get that in a second. Just give me a moment. More income from raiding. The mammoth can now really charge in. Holy crap. I just want that. We're going to get all these buffs right now. We're going to finish off your group. It's easy enough to kill off, so we're going to do that. Take some more money. And then we're going to pop back on over. Friendly lands. Where we can patch up. We've already burned down Zoshink. I took out another army of theirs. We've got... Oh, they took the Grayling Moot. So they took it afterwards. I, I got you. I got you. Okay, Red Eye, what am I going to give you now? There's like a lot of stuff that I want to give you. I want to give you two mana cores, two creatures, okay? That's what you're taking. We're going to take some Norsekin Dwellers. I'm going to take two of them, all right? So to give you a pretty big army. How much infantry do you have? You got a okay amount. You got an okay amount. Grogwood over here. Yeah, he's pretty beat up. I can go after. I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take everything. The Van Heimlings are still trying to rebuild. They're so weak. They're so weak. Okay. Egram. I want you to go back after whatever you can, really. If you can block them, if you can do what else. You want me to go over water, but okay. We'll go bother Norden. Critical failure. Great. Hey, great start. Great start. 50% chance. Critical failure. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. There's going to be some type of issue over here. You are correct. Look at that. His love's having to dedicate some forces over here to go handle another enemy. I don't think they'll win. They've got too much going on. What is that? What is that aura? I'm curious about that. They buffed up? I don't know. Okay, so monster hunt. We can do that pretty soon. Just not yet. Again. Dinner turn now. Got all this money. I'm going to start spending a lot more of it. If global recruitment didn't take so long. Ooh, I do not agree with that strategic design choice I do get the concept but in actuality in terms of gameplay it's not that interesting it's more of a time hurdle than anything else it's not gonna keep me from winning the game it's just I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more time moving around the map it's a really fine line to find like a challenge that's added to what you have to deal with and then what might just be an arbitrary thing that doesn't really impede you in any meaningful fashion or way There's Kislev. Oh, the Wood Elves are fighting Bretonia. That's a great start. That's what I like to see a lot. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I don't even have to fight their main army. That's really good. I can just take that, make some money. Well, all right then. That's really good. Wow. Uh-oh. Great. Escaping corruption to deal with. Every guy looks forward to that. Deadly Onslaught, Quicksilver. Again, I find it very funny when you move so quickly. All right, so we're going to bring you down. Come take over for a minute. I'm going to let you recruit that later. For now, I just want you to move up and go retake things. Rob will come on down to Ice Strike to kind of take over that defensive posture. Walker to Slasher. Again, hilarious name. Let's bring you over here to the Grayling Moot where you can steal technology and hopefully level up. Good, you did it. You're level four now. I gave you a lot of levels. We get like two points per level just to make things a little bit more interesting so we're not having to watch out for what we're getting every so often. Yeah, we're just gonna get like buffing spells first. I want them to buff people up before they deal more damage. Mountains of Hell are over here. We're gonna keep on upgrading so we can get a, a work in. I want one, so we're gonna go do that. Wolfric is still doing his own thing over here. We're gonna have him camp out now. He'll be ready in like one turn. We can go out to Stragolf. I kind of want to go to Stragolf before I do my big quest. I just want to make sure that they're done for. So I feel better about everything. Track 
I'll just have you like sell on over, I guess. All right. Let's have a look around. That's pretty good. Send it to hell. No, we're not doing that, I guess. I want to recruit more. I really do. I'll use a force march with you. I didn't use one with you, did I? No, I did not. All right, so you'll be, you'll be there in like a turn. Then we'll have you go to the moot. Send her turn again. We're just patching up good old Wolfric's army. I didn't get a chance to fully update his army or I would give him more champions. I wanted to like give him a fully functional updated army before I went ahead and got a secondary army, but we're gonna go ahead and do the secondary army now that I'm getting a lot more money. I mean, if I don't have the capability to spend all my money in one turn, then I'm just gonna leave it there, let it build up so I can actually afford things and raid and sack. I wonder how much I can make from raiding now with all my benefits to raiding. I do get the premise, but <laughs> hasn't stopped me from building a fairly functional economy. Again, thankfully, the other factions were combining other tribes so quickly. Man, if the orcs do that, you can imagine how strong they could get. They could just beat one leader and gain all of their lands. Very orky. Alright, let's go level up our new friend over here. The sewer guard. Yeah, do that for me. Roots of the Hound. Very good. New berserker group. Let's come over here now and finish off these orcs. And they're gone. Okay, so I'm not going to liberate them. I'm going to occupy. And now it belongs to me. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to build up a little bloody bulwark. We're going to come over here and work on public order. I'll be getting the Van Heimlings one day, so I might as well go work on that now. I'm going to go get some Wellers, and then I'll have like a fairly full army, I think, for that group. Yeah, we're going to grab some Wellers. I think that would be really interesting. They seem to be very powerful and cool. So I want them to come join me. Okay, so you did your thing. Thank you, Wolfric. You're level 16 now. You nearly have your mammoth. I wonder if I... I Look, dude, I remember the battle over here for that freaking Frostworm. He's got like these crazy AoEs and it's so deadly. Oh, here we go. Wolfric's legendary vessel, Sea Fang, taken from the scaling which Bagayar, Baba Yaga, travels upon the winds of chaos, granting Wolfric's forces incredible mobility. That's really cool. More campaign movement by 15%. Wound recovery time goes down. Reinforcement range. Alright, I'll take all that. Try to ambush me now, idiots. If I could stay here. Nah, I think I'm gonna go after Fort Stragal first. That's a tier 4 location. That's gonna be a fun one. Let's go take out what's bordering their lands. We'll be there in one turn. Again. His lab is trying to dedicate their forces over here, so if I can focus to destroying what's on the western end, that would be great. Oh, look at that. Little rebellion. Cool. Income from raiding. I wonder how much I make from raiding now. That's what I'm curious about. Let's see. 1,200. Holy crap. I have just made 1,200. Now raiding is making me some extra money. Oh, oh boy. That's a nice amount. That's a pretty amount. Yeah. What else do I need in an army? Oh, right, right. I didn't get the other. Right, okay, so I have room for two more after that. Got some spears. I've got some throwing stuff. Oh, I don't really want the chariot. I'm going to be real with you. I don't really want the chariot that much. So if I don't do that, then what do I want? If I don't do that, take one more group of spears. I'm going to take... Well, no, let's go grab these guys real quick. Got some great weapons. They're very expensive, but man, can they do some damage. So we're going to grab them. Maybe like one more Manticore or something if I really want to. Walk into Slasher, I'm going to have you go. Still more technology. Oh, you failed. Okay. You're not level 93. That was a weird visual bug. I wonder why that happens. Okay, more technology to complete. Let's go do another thing again. What am I going to level up now? That is a good question. Talea, Bretonia, the Dwarves, the East... That really should count Kislev. All right, I'm going to go take this real quick. Try to get Raising of the Empire because I'll eventually be fighting the Empire. So I'll be getting plus five. I'm fighting against the Empire. My aura size will be larger and my upkeep will go down by 10% for all my Marauders. And it's already very cheap. So we're going to make it cheaper to where I can afford more armies. Okay. So what tier three building do I want here? I could... Certainly grab that for training. 
there's only a few things that go up to tier three, and that's it. One of them being this over here. Okay, I could get some horse masters. I, do, I actually do like horse masters. I think they're pretty good. We'll take that actually. We'll come over here and build that long ship builder up. Mountains of Nagafari. That's tier four now. So we got that going. Great. Let me go check on all my taxation. What I'm doing right now. Oh, you're right, right. I'm I'm actually trying to cause issues over there. I don't really care that much. Vinheim Mountains are not happy, so we'll leave it alone. You'll be ready in a turn or two to move on. Yeah, things are really working out for this campaign. And then one more turn, we'll go to Fort Strigov. I could go get to other fort. That would be nice if I could take out their forts. Then later get Erengrad. Erengrad will be largely isolated. Kislev is still building up a lot. I'm going to need probably like two armies to come over here anyway. So I might need to keep Throg and Ice Strike just to keep Nordland away from me. And even Bretonia. If I can keep those two away from me so I can operate on Kislev. The goal, I mean, I don't want to fight. Archeon because I fought chaos so many times. I would like to have some chosen, but I've got so many other cool units I don't really want a unit from chaos that I can just get in my chaos campaign. Not a big deal. don't care So that might be a good idea anyway So just take care of it like that We have fought some pretty cool battles and I've got more to fight. Oh They're raiding right because they get that easy chance to just raid right then and there. We do have another Kislev army close by they're spreading out now. One of them is going after. Oh, man. How can you not win? You never seem to win those fights, man. It's really unfortunate. I'll take the money. It's extra money for me. So if my freaking garrison can beat that each and every time, that's just extra money I'm getting. Wow, you barely do any damage to them. Whoa. That was pretty impressive. To not do any damage to them at all. They managed to just power on through yeah so these like little tribes are not doing diddly squat I would need like Throg or someone to do that but I've already got Throg in my army so it doesn't really matter all right let's come over here now we're gonna come way over here and we'll return to take care of them you good you did block the army now you're level five easy two points I'm gonna give you flaming sword of ruin it's gonna let you just buff everyone up it's gonna be great Eventually. Egrim, you're still doing your thing over here. I'll have you come over to Erengrad and level up a little bit. Alright, and then as for you, Wolfric, you've done a great job making me some extra money. We could do Rampage. I could try that out for fun. See what that's like. Oh my god! Okay. That's a... That's a big garrison. We got a mortar. Okay. Let me go look at it real quick. Really depends on what it looks like. Boskovic Ungulov. All right, Boskovic Ungulov. I'm here to kill. The lamentations. I crave them. Yeah, we're gonna find out what we can do to good old Bosco. Oh, Bosco, I come for you. It's not like the name of every Russian bear. Bosco. keep wanting to check out that Inquisitor game, but the reviews for it are mixed, and evidently the content is bare, the loot progression isn't good. It's such a shame, man. I just wish we could get good 40k games. Especially since Dawn of War 3 was so bad, I couldn't like it. I would have a very stern disagreement with the guy who was like, I don't know, I kind of like it, and he defended it, and I'm like, you are entitled to your opinion. But I just think it's a objectively bad game, and evidently, so did a lot of other people too, because they're not doing any content for it at all. I was like, damn, it was about. I'm like, what did you expect? The art style was weird. The campaign was god awful. One of the worst ones I've ever had the displeasure of playing. It was just, oof. I try to like it. I wanted to see good in it because I want 40k games to just be fun. But just because I want it doesn't mean it's gonna be so. Okay, we get these marauders. Go over here real quick, and then we're gonna have all these. Uh, what am I gonna send in? I guess I'll send in these guys, huh? We'll all hit like one side, maybe. That might be fun. Get them all on one side, yeah. 
Have them all hit on one side, then they can't really do much about it. Mammoth, go in. Manicore, come on in. Let's go attack that crossbow group. Harry Cousins, we're going to move you over here. Yeah, that would have been a better idea from the get-go, even with the mortar. You can just go attack a few of them. We'll only get hit by maybe one or two groups total. Oh yeah, that mortar is going to do a lot of damage. I'm already getting it. Oh yeah, if you're going to do that though, that's like prime killing territory. So let's go ahead and get our ship going. Hi guys, have you met my ship? Oh, I usually don't get to go through that many of them. That's just a line of dead now. He's already killed over 400. Oh my god. That was like the first real opening move that I had to play and 400 dead. Not to mention all the other dead guys. Can I get anyone over here? Oh, I can actually. Oh yeah, we're about to destroy them. Hell yeah. That's fantastic. Did we break the front gate yet? No, 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 we did not. Oh, they opened the gate on me. That's They love doing that crap. Oh, they're such a big fan of doing that crap. Yeah, I'm just going through the crossbows with my mana core. I want to go after the freaking mortar, but where is that at anyway? Is it like in that group or is it over here somewhere? Wait, I think I just saw it. Yep, yep, I did. I did. Right here. 31 kills, right? I'm just waiting for my... Oh, 420. Nice. A very dank amount of kills. Right, let's go in, boys. Let's go do our stuff. Bangs. We'll get some great weapons in here, too. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Zergers are going to lose their minds soon if they keep taking damage like that, though. Yeah, I think this battle's in the bag. I think Wolfric's having a pretty good time right now. He's just like, I Wolfric, I win. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So we're doing the freaking door thing again. All right, that's cute. I'll take it. But guess what? I'm getting a lot of marauders in here. You just deal with that, sucker. Try this out real quick, see if we can get hit. We might bounce on a wall, that was probably not a good aim. Wait, let's see. Yeah, I did. Okay. At least I got rid of some more of these guys over here. I might lose my Norse controls. I've now killed 595. That's a pretty good amount. That's a pretty decent amount. He's killed 600 now. Whoa! Did you just kill more? <laughs> Jeez. Enemy gates are finally destroyed. Let's go in. I'm going to bring in all these berserkers so that they can't just be hit by artillery fire the entire time. I'm going to let you guys come over here real quick and go attack some bows, some crossbows. That'll buff up some nearby units as we keep on fighting. War Biscuit, get in here, buddy. Who's over here? A bunch of handgunners. Ooh, handgunners are nasty. Yeah. Nice one. The Mortis killed 88. Wolfric's killed. How many is he killing with like every swing? Look at the kills just pile up so quickly. I'm not used to seeing like... Oh my god. That dude's scary. What are his animations on a chariot? I guess he's just like swinging so much. That's really awesome. Yeah, and closer to the tabletop you get where it's a little bit more focused on my army. Still faith is all about your heroes and lords. I mean, not to say that your army's not important, but it has such a integral part of you doing well is based on that like oh hey are my heroes and everything contributing and in this case yes they are <laughs> yes they are all right we'll go finish off those guys i'm going to bring in now other groups very very cheap groups okay so he's lost control and plus we all have like our plus to melee attack and all that business look at that weapon strength too in the 70s Alright, let's come over here real quick. War Biscuit, come over here. We'll come over here, Manicor. Harry Cousins, come over here. He's at 731. He might lose control, but it doesn't really matter if he's just strong inherently to just do what he wants. I'll get control of him again pretty soon. There goes a War Mammoth now about to just bull right through all these hand gunners. Yeah, a lot like that. They've got some knights over there. That's very nice. Are we dealing with any of their typical line soldiers right now? They're mostly done, yeah. 
We had some Outriders. He's still attacking. You know what? I think I think we're done here. I think we did our part. I think we killed him, alright? We're just kind of stuck with all the crowds here trying to get out. They're trying to like leave the fort. <laughs> and we're like, no, we're going to have you stay here for a little bit. Okay, so he lost control for a little bit longer than I thought he would, but... Doesn't matter. They broke. The battle's over. So that's another location gone. When did they lose? I lost 266. They lost 1490. Wolfert killed 773. I haven't even been focusing on his melee capabilities, and that's why. I knew that he was strong inherently. The dude's not even on a mammoth. I would actually wonder if the animations will allow him to get more kills on a chariot than it would on his mammoth. It might be. We'll, like, test it out in a few fights, but... Look at that. He killed over half of their freaking... I mean, half of their losses just came from Wolfric. The Mortar got 100 kills. Yeah, that was kind of expected. Towers probably did a lot of that damage, too, but... We went in there, and we trucked a fool. So now the battle's over. Boskovic Ungolov is finished. Just because you got a nice mustache doesn't mean you'll just win. All right? Okay. Come on, buddy. There we go. 4,000. Good amount, but I have money. So I'm just going to burn it down. Because I don't want it to come back later. <laughs> just want to destroy it. And then go away. Oh, I get to heal up for a turn. Can't move. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay, so now I know. If, if I'm in a raiding stance, I can at least camp afterwards. Gotcha. Because these guys might come after me. Or someone might come after me. But that was really good. Now we have more money. Ice Tooth Mountains, I'm going to upgrade that, so we'll get walls, or something. Well, not walls, but better stuff. Feral Mammoth, I mean, that's a huge thing to get, so that'll boost up my graveyard. You'll be ready in a turn. So we're going to call it here. Leave a like and comment down below, and as for the War Council, I guess we don't really need one yet. I mean, again, we still need to finish our campaign over in Kislev. I'm going to finish my campaign in Kislev, but if you have any input on what you think I should do next, or what I should be doing now to better expedite my campaign, let me know. And uh, leave a like, comment down below, and as always, until then.